ஹை டியர்ஸ் நான் உங்களுடைய டேசி பா எந்த பிரச்சனையும் இல்லாம ஒரு நாலு நாளைக்கு எங்கேயாவது வெளியில நிம்மதியா போலாமான்னு நம்மளுக்கு தோணும் ஆனா கண்டிப்பா நம்மளால போக முடியாது ஏன்னா நம்மளுக்கு அவ்வளவு கமிட்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆனா இங்க ஒருத்தர் பாருங்களேன் ஏதை பத்தியும் கவலைப்படாம பிளைட் எடுக்காம எங்க பஸ் இந்த மாதிரி எதோ எடுத்து அவருடைய டிராவலை நீங்களே பாருங்க நிஜமாவே உங்களுடைய கமெண்ட்ஸ எனக்கு சொல்லுங்க ஓகேவா The man you're looking at has traveled to 194 countries without ever using a plane not even once not even once he will be the first person in the world to travel the entire planet without flying how is this possible why is he traveling the hard way and is he going to swim all the way to antarctica In this tiny apartment in Hong Kong is where I found Thor. Hi, my name is Thor and I'm going to be the first person to reach every country in the world completely without flying. Right now, Thor is in Hong Kong, but this is not his home. In fact, he has not had a home for exactly 7 years, 2 months and 27 days. 7 years ago, he discovered that no one in the history of human kind has been to all countries in the world in one single journey without flying so he had a crazy idea why shouldn't i be the first one so on the 10th of october at exactly 10:10 10 a.m. with just a pair of shoes and a backpack with everything he owns he left his home in denmark and promised himself to never return home until he's finished. If you try to dissect that for a moment, it all comes out to that it's every country in the world. Yes, every 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 yes, yes, that country too and that country and that and that. Yes, every country in the world in a single journey completely without the use of flight. So he ditched the plane and got on a bus. Exactly 336 buses, 158 trains, 25 container ships, 8 trucks, even once on a horse carriage and zero flights. All of this while spending an average of just $20 a day traveling. $20 a day. I always look for the cheapest option. That means $1 meals, $1 buses, $1 SIM cards. And sometimes I also meet people who let me stay at their homes for free too. What Thor is doing might sound really easy on paper, but the truth is it's really really difficult. He had to deal with visa problems, accommodation problems, spending months on board of a container ship just to get to where he wanted, and for conflict zones, entering the country also means risking his life. One time I was going from Cameroon to Congo on a dirt road with no one else around. It was in the middle of the night and suddenly we were stopped by three uniformed men. They were armed to the teeth. they were drunk out of their mind and i thought that i was going to be shot right there and then and if that's not enough to discourage you imagine spending 7 years on the road without a home without seeing your family without seeing your friends it's been really hard and many times i wanted to quit but i think if i do then i'll regret it for the rest of my life So far, Thor has been to 194 countries with only 9 countries left before he officially finishes the whole world. Many of the remaining countries are islands that are very far. They are in the middle of nowhere like Maldives, Palau, and Samoa. Now, the inspiration might come from me never ever 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 giving up. I've been out here for nearly 3 years now and I've been through some tough situations and I never quit. I never went home and I never flew. I never ever give up. This crazy journey has allowed him to experience the world like no one ever did. What Thor is doing might be pretty extreme and he doesn't recommend it to everyone. But what he definitely recommends is for everyone to travel more, see more, experience more. Whether inside of a plane, on top of a cargo ship or on your feet.